The member for Fisher. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, I, I wish to speak on the late latest developments in the case of missing Sunshine Coast teenager Daniel Morecambe and the incredible courage and strength of his parents, Denise and Bruce. Daniel's disappearance and believed murder has become a story of national and international focus. Most of the nation knows of his parents who have demonstrated amazing tenacity since the disappearance in, De in December 2003. Uh, they've never let the case go cold and they continually campaign to ensure that it has never been far from the thoughts of people across Australia. Their tenacity has paid off. The most recent developments in the case have been well publicised. A 41-year-old man was charged over the matter and faced court on August 15. He is charged with murder, deprivation of liberty, child stealing, indecent treatment of a child under 16 and interfering with a corpse. I phoned uh, Denise Morecambe uh, soon after the news to offer my prayers and condolences and good wishes and to um, wish them strength during the next phase of the case that will again test their strength. The former Prime Minister, Minister for Foreign Affairs and Honourable Member for Griffith contacted me soon after the news of the arrest and asked me to pass on to the Morecams the sympathy and support from him and his wife Therese and I did that. A search has subsequently been conducted by SES volunteers and police of a specific area of bushland not far from Beowa in my electorate and the search has located some shoes of a type worn by Daniel when he disappeared and also human bones which are now being tested to determine if they do in fact belong to Daniel. After Daniel's disappearance, Denise and Bruce launched the Daniel Morecambe Foundation as a vehicle to promote the child safety message and also highlight the ongoing investigation into their son's disappearance. These latest developments do not diminish the importance of the child safety message and I applaud uh, Bruce and Denise for the way they have worked since Daniel's disappearance to help ensure that other families do not uh, experience the tragedy and loss that they have. This year I am again encouraging all members and senators in the Australian Parliament and also members of other parliaments around Australia and across the Tasman to help commemorate the Day for Daniel, which this year will be held on November 3 in the Australian Parliament. Uh, the Day for Daniel is usually held on October 28, uh, but that is not a parliamentary sitting day, so after consultation with Bruce and Denise Morecambe, the Day for Daniel in the Australian Parliament uh, will be held on uh, November 3. Uh, on the Sunshine Coast, the Day for Daniel includes considerable events uh, to highlight the cause and I encourage all honourable members uh, this year uh, to uh, participate in the Day for Daniel. Last year it was very successful with the involvement of the Prime Minister, the Leader of the Opposition, uh, yourself uh, Mr Speaker, uh, the Treasurer, the Manager of Government Business, the Deputy Leader of the Opposition, the Manager of Opposition, opposition Business and many others who wore uh, either a black scarf or an item of red clothing. Uh, I'll be con contacting all members and senators shortly to ask them to put this event in their diaries and to help remember to wear an item of red on that day to support this important cause. Uh, members who would uh, like to acquire scarves or, or ties uh, can do so through my office and by doing so make a donation to the important work of the Daniel Morecambe Foundation. Bruce and Denise have experienced the most terrible loss that any parent uh, could experience and as a parent myself uh, I have some understanding although no one can have a complete understanding uh, of what they have gone through uh, during the many years which have elapsed since 2003. I do however see them as role mo models and icons in our society because the, the way that they have gone out of their way to ensure that other families do not experience similar loss. They are wonderful Australians and I applaud them.